Hello everyone, and welcome back to another installment of Wolnein Design Group's presented Da Vinci Unified Training Videos. Today we'll be talking about load planning. We'll be going over how to create new loads, how to manage shipments, and how to prioritize stops for shipments. Before we continue, be sure to take a look at some of these previous videos. We begin our lesson by navigating to transportation, where we will find loads. Here in loads, if you are looking to create a new load, you can do so with the green insert button, or search through the list of previously created loads. When creating a new load, you will notice it is an identical image to the shipment's creation window. And the details can be input just like you would for a shipment, and saving when satisfied with the details. Once you have filled in your desired info, you can continue on to shipments and stops. Here you can set up a route in which the shipments can be fulfilled. Click the green insert button under shipments to begin searching through your list of shipments to add to the load. In shipment search, you have the option to either create a new shipment or search through your shipment list. When searching, there are many different fields available to help narrow your search. Fill in the details that best helps filter through your shipments. Then you can select the desired shipment to add to the load. In case you were wondering, DaVinci allows you to add multiple shipments at a time. Notice as you select the shipments at the top left, DaVinci auto calculates all numerical factors such as weight and volume to ensure that no overloading occurs. Once all shipments are selected, notice that they are automatically placed in the STOPS section. Now you can prioritize each stop and shipment in the order that best fits the route, and you do so by applying a stop number. Next, be sure to apply an appointment date and time to the stops. And lastly, be sure to number your shipments accordingly. After applying details to your shipments and stops, you will then be able to view them in the dispatch. Shipments, loads, and stops are all viewable. Continuing down, you will find familiar tabs such as Track and Trace, along with Claims, followed by the Advanced tab, and just like before with Shipments, we can implement our advanced details such as Hazbat and Team Support, add a driver for this route, along with a truck, and even add a trailer if needed. Down below we have the ability to apply carrier quotes, 
which will appear and adjust the profits displayed in the General tab. Continuing on, we can add appointments, apply charge codes, and manage the loads documents. Once you have saved the load, the Actions tab appears up at the top right, allowing you to print, email, copy shipments, and more. And that's all for our lesson in load planning. Be sure to check back with us for more videos on how to use DaVinci Unified. And if you have further questions or would like to set up a training session, feel free to contact our support. Or check out our detailed documentation online. Thanks for watching.